Hi, this is Eurex News. I'm your host, Tommy Sai. We are here to talk about the European porn industry. And uh, today we have here with us a young, beautiful Hungarian new talent, Barbie Brill. <laughs> Hi, it's nice to be here. Hi, Barbie. How are you doing? I'm doing good. So, who is Barbie Brill? When did you start? How? Well, I started at the end of August last year. Okay, 22? 22, yeah. Okay. <laughs> For a second, I forgot what year it is. <laughs> <clears throat> and what was it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, what did you do before? Well, I lived in Malta. Okay. And I moved here in Hungary in July. Mm -hmm. So I was just at home, you know, taking a chill break. Like, um, and then I, I wanted to continue with modeling that I've been doing before. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I started looking for like modeling and horses kind of jobs. And then I came across Brill. <laughs> Okay. And I was like, you know, might as well just give it a try. Uh, since then, I presume you did a couple of scenes, yeah. right? Okay. Uh, how do you like the industry? Well, um, it's I, li I like it, I do. Um, I didn't really know what to expect from it when I first came, but... Uh, I'm definitely ple like f feel pleased with it. Like, I I feel in it. I don't feel left out. Mm -hmm. I mean, a beautiful girl like you, it's normal. <laughs> um, doing this 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 job, uh, maybe you've seen things that you never experienced before in your private life. False. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> That's definitely one, and. I don't think I would do it in my private life. There's just too many things going on at once and it's confusing. I mean, like for example, I don't know if you did Girl Girl in your private life before. Well, somewhat, yeah. Okay, so that wasn't new. Okay. All no, right. that, that was Okay. Okay, being with two boys? No. Never. Uh, do you like to work with the girls? Yes, I okay. do. What's the big difference between girls and boys? I don't know actually. I just feel a different kind of connection okay. to what girls. Like, I don't know how to explain it. They're softer. They're like feminine, you know. Uh -huh. and <laughs> okay. Let's talk about um, uh, a girl girl scene. Mm -hmm. You like to lead or you like to be led by a girl? I like to be led. Uh huh. Okay. Same thing with the guy? Yeah. Okay. I don't mind leading, but I prefer it if they lead. Okay. Let's talk about your name a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Where does it come from? Barbie and Brill. Well, Barbie came because um, when I was asked what I want my stage name to be, uh -huh. I was like Barbie. Okay. For sure. Because, um, I don't know. Because you like I, pink I and you like look like Barbie. A Barbie. Okay. And, and I always like that name. I have so many friends that are called Barbie. Okay. But I don't think that name suits them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it, it doesn't really make any sense because it, it doesn't, but still. And like when I look myself in the mirror, like standing there with my hair down, with full face makeup, you know, I feel like a Barbie girl. You look like a Barbie girl. <laughs> so that, that was the first thing that I said. I wanted to be Barbie. I don't know what Barbie, Barbie mm -hmm. what, but mm -hmm. I wanted to be Barbie. So, and then it's good to have a second, second name, <laughs> right? Well, I think it just sounds better than Barbie on its own. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what goes with Barbie good, so I left that up to the agency to decide. I just told them I wanted to be Barbie, and then uh, they came up with Brill because it shines, I guess. No, brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> What are the things that you you think that you're really good at when we talk about the industry? Artisty things. Mm -hmm. I love it when when it's more artistic. Okay. It's it's all the details. 
I, I, I love him. Details like what? Having this glass here, not there. Okay. <laughs> the, the little things that just makes the whole setting look better. Okay. Like, for example, you got the lights back there. Mm -hmm. They're just a nice touch, you know, and, and uh, th those things, for me, they matter. Okay. And when it comes, like, sexually, what do you think that you're really, really, really good at? I'm not sure. You're not sure? Nobody told you, like, oh, you really suck well, or you, you really do this well, or that well. I've been told that I suck well. Well, you so. see? So, okay. <laughs> but that's, that's a good start. <laughs> you know, you have some feedback from, from yeah, the uh, uh, talents you work with. I mean, it's always been positive. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I don't remember getting anything negative. You told me that you like girls. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which, is, uh, which can be a big help when you have to work with another girl, right? Because you have a different approach than if you're not into girls, maybe it's more difficult. Than I would think so. Because you know what girls like, you know what you like, so you try to give them the same kind of uh, things that you would like to get. I guess that's why it's easier with girls, because I know what I like, and it's kind of easy to figure out what they like. Mm -hmm. um, then with guys, I don't know you what don't. it feels like for them. I, I don't know what they feel, uh, how it feels. Well, how you just have to look at their faces, I guess. Sometimes that doesn't matter, because okay. sometimes they look like they are in pain, and I'm like, you're all right up there? <laughs> And they're like, yeah, it's good. I'm like, okay, because your face says otherwise. And I'm like, hmm, okay, mm -hmm. that's interesting. Um, but then with girls, it's like, I know what works for me and how things feel. Mm -hmm. And I mean, if it hurts, it hurts. You just got to do something else about it. But with guys, I don't know what it actually feels like and how it's better, how it's worse. Do you have a partner in your private life? Yes. Okay. Did you learn something new on productions that you could just uh, bring back home and, and try out with your partner? Or you don't like to experiment things that you do on a point set? Well, at home I like to keep things simple. Okay. It's, it's more about intimacy mm -hmm. for me there and, and the connection with my partner actually. Okay rather than all these things that we do in porn we we do the things that are good for the both of us i mean we do try new positions do this do that whatever but at the same time it's still more about the connection that is between us rather than i don't know doing 100 positions exactly in, the, okay. in one in one go like no uh -huh. thank you how <laughs> difficult to be in relationship with someone who's not from the business uh, because some girls say like okay I'm, I'm with a guy who's from the business so he knows what this whole thing is about he knows that this is only work and maybe someone who's who's not from the inside uh, it's a bit more difficult to make him understand that actually this is a job it is a job yes I do enjoy it because it's a pleasurable thing mm. that you cannot not enjoy um but i still go home to you not to him or her right you're still the one that is waiting for me at home that i'm going to cook for that i'm going to go sleep with and sometimes i do feel like he doesn't understand and it's it's hard to talk about certain things with him when it comes to you know porn and and how my shooting went and like I would love to go home sometimes and just went about it, you, you know, know, just just talk it all out because I had a fantastic experience or something, you know, I just go home so excited and then I start telling him all these and he doesn't quite get it. He owns your feelings. Exactly. I mean, I mean, I mean, you give something to him that you don't give to your colleagues, you know, that's something exactly special to have. <laughs> Is he kind of a jealous guy or? When we go out, then yes. Okay. <laughs> when it comes to work, not really. Mm -hmm. I mean, he usually looks at my scenes when they come out. Oh. 
He just like to see them, like kind okay. of. He mainly watches my girls scenes, <laughs> but it's it's kind of nice in that sense that he 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 looks at what I do. He never told you to bring one of your colleagues home, no. girl or no, no. Okay, you're um, a new talent. You start to do this business. Uh, do you have to do everything people tell you to do, or you can choose? Well, there is usually something that the client wants. So they tell you all the things that you're expected to do. I mean, of course, if you feel uncomfortable with something, you can just say, and maybe they'll leave it out or they'll, they will alter it to you. So you feel more comfortable because <clears throat> they don't want you to feel uncomfortable and then do things that, that doesn't feel good for you. Mm -hmm. So that, that I find that great that that you have a say in what you do and how you do it. Sure, I mean you do what you like to do and you don't do what you don't like to do. Cool. Kind of, it's, yeah. It's pretty clear. <laughs> okay, um, what was the thing that, if there was any, of course, that kind of shocked you in the industry that you were you weren't really thinking that it was like that? The amount of work that is behind it mm -hmm. for that that short video that you see the amount of work that is behind it that's that's ridiculous i i, I would never have thought mm -hmm. yeah because you know sometimes people think that that uh a, a porn shoot is it's easy it's one take everybody's there everybody's fucking with everybody <laughs> the makeup with the light technician you know that's what people in general think although Although it's, it's it's a hard work, right? Yeah. We have different steps: makeup, stills, uh, video, dialogues, and pictures. All. Yeah. Sometimes even voiceover. So it's tiring. It can get tiring. Mm -hmm. I mean, after a whole day of literally fucking, you get tired. And uh, you travel around, like you just work here in, in Hungary, or you also do other productions abroad. Yeah, I do, uh, sometimes. Um, I've been to Prague, to Austria, London, mm -hmm. and recently to Latvia. You being a relatively new model in the industry, what would be your advice to girls who want to start this job? Don't be shy. Don't be shy. <laughs> Don't be shy. Just go on, do it. There's nothing bad in it. Yes, people will say that you, you, it's terrible what you do, but no, honey, no. You just gotta feel like you. If you wanna do it, you do it. it, it um, I did have some confidence issues, and by doing this, I have a lot more confidence, which I find amazing. <clears throat> I, I, I learned to, to not care about people's opinions mm -hmm. because people all, will always have opinions and, and will tell you shit about what you do, but no. If it makes you happy, do it. What was the reaction of your friends or maybe family when they find out or maybe you told them that the, the, the kind of work you're doing? Well, um, <clears throat> When I started, I was seeing a guy, uh -huh. and um, he found out. Okay. Not the nicest way, <laughs> let's just say that. And at this point, I can laugh about it, but then I couldn't. <laughs> and then he had the audacity to send a picture to my mother with a dick inside of me. Okay. And that's the way my mom found out. Okay. Which. I wanted to tell her myself when I saw her because she was still living in Malta okay. back then. So I didn't want to ruin my couple of days with her when she was visiting. So I was like, I, I knew that she was moving here. So I have time to, to actually think about how I'm going to, going to tell her yeah. in, in a nice way, you know, but he ruined that. <laughs> um, he didn't take it good at all. My mom wasn't very supportive, but was supportive at the same time. Um, she didn't like the fact that I started this, but now she's kind of okay with it. She she grew with it too. Right. Um, 
<laughs> sometimes she still tells me like do you not want to get a proper job i'm like mom <laughs> i'm happy i'm good thank you <laughs> which is nice um but the guy he didn't take it well at all uh-huh. i still had clothes at his house uh-huh. so he pulled them out of the wardrobe and pissed all over them okay i was like okay okay keep them <laughs> yes um other than that um my other friends and family they took it pretty well mm-hmm. i had some people tell me that good that you started doing this um they were very supportive mm-hmm. um i had friends who asked about the industry how how it is because they wanted to know more how is the setting going like uh-huh. like how is everything that they wanted me to actually talk about how the whole production is made at that point and i'm like hmm, i did not expect this <laughs> so overall i only had good experiences with people finding out what i do i mean there is always bad on social media sometimes i get messages mm-hmm. like go to hell and, and the, those yeah, kind of I things but haters will always yeah, hate people are jealous or envy you or something you know it's always like that always later. I think that until you're happy what you're doing, you know, and 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 you really want to do what you want to do with no obligations, it's cool. I mean, mm-hmm. I mean, you're not doing this job because somebody told you to do it. No. You know, just because you wanted to try it out, you know, and and you now just living the moment, right? Exactly. And I'm enjoying it. Did it ever happen to you to to come? during a scene? Yes. There, 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 there was. <laughs> and what's your favorite position to come? There are multiple things. And then for me, it comes to the connection right. again. Mm-hmm. Because like with someone that I have no feeling for, it's, it's hard. Right. Because like, yes, okay, it feels good and everything. But at the same time, there's nothing behind it. Mm-hmm. So it's it's hard for me to get to that point with like a complete stranger in that sense. But there was a couple times when it was real. It, it, it's, it's hard to say what they have to do because it's always different. With women or, or with men? Men. Men. Okay. What do you prefer? Dialogue or sex? Hmm. Hard question because I think some of these comedy and dialogue parts bring something more to the sex to to make a little more sense. Mm-hmm. You don't just start fucking somewhere because that's. I mean, yeah, it happens, but it's it's nice to to have a little conversation <laughs> before you jump right into it. And it's also a little acting, right? Yeah. No, because I saw I saw you I saw you <laughs> doing dialogues and comedies, and uh, you're pretty convincing. Thank you. No, you are. You are. <laughs> you are. So. I I try to put myself into that actual person that I'm supposed to be to to make the most out of it, mm-hmm. because I wanna feel a part of it, you know. Like I'm not I'm not just Barbie who who's a completely different person. No, I'm that person that I'm supposed to be. So I I try to 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 do my best because I feel it makes the whole thing better. Mm-hmm. That's good. That's very professional. Oh, I like it. I thank like you. It. Well, Barbie, thank you, thank you very much for being here with us today. It was a pleasure. It was my pleasure. And I really hope to see you soon. Yes. So, so. do I. See you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.